Hi, everyone. I am the host for program quality. It is said car engine works as heart for the vehicles. Then the car radiator is the lung, which transfers the excess heat away from the engine through water circulation. Hence, reduce the temperature and protect car engine as the heart. There is such one president of a radiator company who is quite obsessed with auto radiator. Whether it is used for domestic or imported car, ordinary passenger car, or racing car, the strong interest for radiators has driven the continuous research and development of new radiator models to become the greatest fun of his life. Winning a car race requires not only excellent driving skills but also the car's own superior performance. Jin Jin Gang is a professional racing driver with many years of racing experiences. Right now, he is doing the final test for his car for next month's game. After a few laps of track testing, he found the car cannot easily speed up and car temperature overwhelmingly high. He speculated there might be a problem with its cooling radiator. Hello, Mr. Jian. Hello, Mr. Jung. My car's cooling performance is not good. I'm not sure about the reason, but the temperature is quite high, kind of boiling. Jian turned to Jung as cooling radiator expert for help after several tests and repairs failed. What engine for your racing car? 1.6T with natural inhalation. Okay, let me check. Zhang Jianfa, as a renowned expert in local auto parts industry, has been engaged in the industry for many years and focused on the research and development of automotive radiator for nearly 20 years. These racing cars are professionally modified and it works very tough during the racing. We care a lot about its cooling radiator related with the engine because if it is not cooling well or enough, the cars will not speed up. The radiator is going to be very important. There will be quite a few racing games following. I wonder how much time you'll need to solve this radiator problem, please. Two to three days would be enough. Okay then, I'll leave it to you. Of course, no problem. Zhang noted down the request from Jian and went back to the factory to get this specially required radiator down with his professional research and development team. Zhang's company, Ferret Group, is not only a large local radiator factory, but also reputed supplier to international markets. It also does research and development towards racing expertise. The radiators developed by Ferret even exceeds the service life of the OE1s with the improvements applied for different driving conditions. For example, in Russia, it is very freezing and it needs to sprinkle salts to unfreeze. But the salts will cause corrosion to the radiator, which will make it burst in a short time. While in Mideast desert areas, the radiator tubes are easily blocked by the sands and the heat transfer will be slow, the radiator also would burst shortly. Now, Ferret's radiators are sold to many countries worldwide, covering a lot of vehicles from new cars to previous types, with over 10,000 different radiator models manufactured in the past years. I started the auto parts business since 1992, while it was not manufacturing. I just imported the OE parts from Japan and then wholesale in Guangdong. At early 1990s, with economic improvement, foreign cars came into China and the auto radiators were in very short supply then. If radiator of the imported car is damaged, it needs to order a new one abroad 
and takes even a few months to get it as replacement for the car. From this, Zhang found the business opportunity. I found my own radiator manufacturing factory at 2000. At the first beginning, it was very simple move with just few models in, and there is sample available. We get and develop it and test it in market. If all good, we start produce batch. There are many manufacturing processes involved for the auto radiators, and the most difficult part to control is brazing. If temperature of the brazing furnace is not managed well, there would be leakage, and Zhang researched for many years to solve this problem. Ferret originally used an oven similar to bread oven for the brazing. And that was actually quite a simple one with the heating wire inside. And once temperature reached, the solder would melt, the oven doors closed, and the middle ones easily got burned or hurt with high temperature. Recalling that, I now realize there are two problems involved. One about the raw material and the other is technical process. After that, we get a longer furnace to make the whole temperature even in the oven as better control to solve the problem. Zhang has been kept seeking for new technology and equipment update and manufactured better radiators. His company also get more good reputations after a few years. And how does he develop the international radiator market? I remember very clearly it was 29th August 2002. There was a Hong Kong and Macau Auto Parts Expo organized by the Guangzhou Municipal Government and I went to visit it Hope to visit the Hong Kong market and learned about the sales there. In the few days at Hong Kong, Zhang kept visiting the auto parts aftermarkets, tried to find some customers there, but he failed. When I visited the aftermarket, I actually brought some brochures along with me as advertisement for my company. When I sent those brochures to each shop, some just threw them away. Some said no to me, and some just rejected very rudely. But I did not feel discouraged at all. I did not think these are problems. I manufactured the radiators, and there were radiators' needs in the market, that is to say, so I just kept visiting the shops and finally succeed. This is Kowloon Bay of Hong Kong, and this is Ming Tai, is my first customer in Hong Kong. Hello, Wong. How are you doing? He was very busy at that time, and I handed my brochure to him. He told me to wait for a while. I saw his shop had the radiators and also condensers sold. So I knew he got the needs for my radiators, but he was too busy. And I waited him for a whole one hour over. After he finished, he took me upstairs, and there were a lot of radiators there. They were just treasures for me. I checked each one, and I knew exactly what models they were used for. And also my factory manufactured those models. So I confirmed with him for the models and did the quotations at same time. He just wrote down what I quoted. At the end, he calculated there were about five to 600 radiators needed. And he asked about the lead time, and I just got so thrilled to hear that I got a deal. I got very excited in the following days because I could go back home with the orders settled down. This order gave Zhang quite great confidence for the radiator business. Since then, he has actively participated in various national and international exhibitions to promote his radiators. As the domestic and foreign markets grow, more vehicle brands involved and the radiator models update each year. A lot more new radiator models appear, but there is no authoritative industry catalog for the customers and dealers to refer. It is becoming very difficult for customer query. Then Zhang got a brave idea. He determined to create a comprehensive catalog for customers' easy access and query. This radiator catalog started from a simple brochure in Hong Kong since 2002, just a poster, and we kept it expanded and fulfilled with updated information, and we would print the catalog book at least twice a year for the two Canton fairs.
Hi, boss. There? Jipang, here, look. I got a radiator. Come, it is a good one. Zhang has traveled all over the world, and whatever countries he visits, there is one place there he must be. The auto spare parts aftermarket. For others, it is a kind of dirty, untidy place, but it seemed full of treasures to Zhang. Whenever we attend the international exhibitions or visit customers, as long as there are the radiators, which I don't manufacture yet, I will buy the samples no matter of the cost. I must get it to develop and manufacture by ourselves. Most people do not want to go to those aftermarket for spare parts, but my boss loved it because of the samples available there. His eyes glow when he found the new samples. He just focused in and got excited about the new ones. And to be frank, we got same excited because of him. So we would love to work with him together for the samples. And it feels like we got great treasures. Zhang spent a lot of time and years perfecting the radiator catalog. And now it covers over thousands of models and has been used by many domestic and international customers in the industry. This is very outstanding contribution to radiator industry. The international radiator market is very big, and our market percentage is not much. There are some blank markets we could penetrate as target, and now we manufacture over 80% models of the available imported cars and domestic vehicles. But my goal is 90%, 95%, and more. Zhang's dedication to the auto radiator made his business flourish. But so his life was completely occupied by the radiator and his family was neglected by him. His life is all about radiators and he even dreamed about radiators instead of his family. He paid no attention to family at all. But then something happened and that changed him a lot. Once my son's teacher called me to tell my son was not in dormitory room last night. He stayed up all night and was supposed to be in the net bar. Well, my husband was not free. He was in a radiator business trip. Then I went alone by myself, searched all net bars around the school, and finally found my son and talked with him. But one or two days later, he went to the net bar again and stayed up. That was the time Zhang realized the problem of his lack of concerns and love for family. And after that, he spent more time with family and communicated more with his son. One year of efforts later, his son made rapid progress in study and successfully admitted to the military school. Now he is an honorable soldier. This change also helped Zhang with ferrets, his enterprise culture. He applied same idea for it, not only advocate the concept of family harmony to employees, but also help them with economic problem or other difficulties. And this makes Ferret a warm group and big family. I already spent the half of my life on cooling of radiators. Now I want to spend the rest half on warming to warm my own family and the Ferret family. I think the Chinese auto industry has been promoted during the developments of the internal combustion engines during the past 70 years and ferret. It definitely contributed a lot to the auto radiator and spare parts industry, especially with the radiator reliability and consistency. So I want to congratulate ferret to be better. Time flies and it comes to Jian Zhenggang's racing day. The modified radiator from Ferret was installed well into his car already. Now this car will drive with our dreams and go forward in the world-class game. Twenty years of focused effort. Twenty years of achievements. For 20 years, we have concentrated on one thing. Put your trust in Ferret. We will keep on as we always have.
making continual advances in the radiator industry to provide our customers with the best quality. As this phase of product quality comes to a close, we look forward to seeing you in the next one.